Hello friends, in the previous tutorial, we see how we can use internet portlet communication using events. So we create a producer and when we click on the submit button, the consumer will print this. So this hello is printed. So we create two portlets, one is producer portlet and second is consumer portlet. So in this video, we will do the same thing, but not using event. In this video, we will do inter portlet communication by using public render parameters. So let's start this. So for event, we use this tag java x.portlet.supported publishing event. So in this video, we will change this to public render parameter. First, let me show you how we can get these tags. So let's go to Google and search for portlet descriptor. And click on this Life 7 documentation. So as you can see in Life 6.2, we have two files like portlet dot xml and life portlet dot xml so the properties in portlet dot xml will start with this and the properties which are related to life are started with this so as you can see like these two properties like instantiable and category start with com dot life dot portlet and others are start with this so we need to search a property with public render parameter. So these are all the properties. So let me just so look, this is our property. So let me just copy this. So in our producer, we have this message text box. So I just use this name message and write this as this as per our property. As you can see, this public render parameter and this string. So now we have this. So we don't need these things so i just remove this So we simply use supported public render parameter, give a name message and then get the value from parameter and put in response dot set render parameter. So now our producer is completed. So let's change to consumer also. In the consumer, we use the same key. And now that's it so you can directly use this in our consumer by using parameter but uh, I like to do the coding in my portlet class so I just use do view method just manage the imports and simply get this
So I like to use this in our view. So let me just put this in our request. Request. So that's it. Both producer and consumer are completed. So I think it's easier than the event thing. So in the producer, we simply use this tag support public render parameter message. This message is same as this message. Get the value and set in our response dot set render parameter. In consumer, we can get this value by using permutil and I'm using render request dot set attribute so that we can use this in our consumer dot JSP. So let me just deploy both of these. So first producer double click on deploy. So producer is started. Now deploy this consumer. So consumer is also started. So let me refresh this. So just enter some message like and click on submit. So after submit we use a consumer and consumer will print a message currently it's blank because of first time just submit this and we here we have the message and also on this so this way we can do interportlet communication by using public render parameter and for the properties these properties we can use this documentation provided by Liferay. these are the portlet.xml properties and these are the Liferay portlet.xml properties so that's it for now if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching